and I finally feel as though I'm in control of my wardrobe. Hey, please, I need some privacy. An ordinary pencil. My faithful notebook. Plenty of blank pages proving my memory is still good and I don't need to write things down. There's ringing coming from the sofa. A good model, functional and strong. Great delivery service. My car's as good as new. The next time I see a strange cosmic phenomenon, I'd better stop, avoiding phone booths. i better catch up with Travis. I'm late, as usual. Calling card stained in ink. D Dog. This is all it says, but I get the picture. I wonder how my friend from London is. Java must have found it and put it here. Let's have a look at New York. Here I am at Professor Eulenberg's estate, a somewhat baroque and kitsch place, I'd say. Professor Mysterio, a question, please. 
Just one question. Yes, fire away. My name's Jenna Haight. I'm a journalist for the Daily Sun. Has Commissioner Travis asked for your help? I'm sorry, but I can't make any comments. Are we talking about a robbery or something more serious? Our readers have a right to know. Keep back. Professor Mystere is a busy man. Come on, move back. Stop asking questions. Thank you, Malcolm. You're welcome, Professor. The Commissioner is waiting for you. Hello again. Hey, what am I doing? Why should I tell her anything? Professor Mystere! Professor! Sorry, just remembered I have an appointment. Sorry, Malcolm. Yes, Professor? Where did you say that Travis was waiting for me? He's in the living room, and he's very anxious to speak with you. Thanks. You're welcome. Hello, Travis. I tried to get here as soon as possible. At last! I thought you were never going to get here. How are you feeling, Martin? I'm sorry to have disturbed you. I'm fine, don't worry. I was held up by a few small problems. You know how it is. One problem after another. Hmm. Fine, then. What happened? You sounded rather worried. What is it? Well, I wanted to speak to you personally. It's a homicide. Hmm. I'd say strange. I thought it was just a straightforward robbery. You know, Professor Eulenberg is... Sorry. He was... Very rich. And this estate is full of treasures. And precious antique pieces. Hmm. But actually, it's not that. Looks like... Nothing's been stolen. Or at least, that's what the head housekeeper claims. And our agents say they've checked the whole house. And there don't seem to be traces of any kind. We're analyzing every inch of the estate. And checking all the phone calls made from this number. The professor didn't seem to have any enemies at all. And wouldn't have heard a fly. We are still at the beginning of this investigation. And we think that the killer might have been... Looking for something valuable. The professor had bought quite a few pieces at art auctions. Interesting theory. Another motive we are looking into is linked to who would inherit his estate. We still have to investigate further, but the professor didn't have any children and his wife died a few years ago. Everything that belonged to her went to charity. What exactly does MIT do? Well, you should know this better than me. However, let me refresh your memory. MIT is an international association of scientists. They get together to discuss new discoveries and to organize conferences, among other things. Eulenberg was high up in the MIT organization and was an important historian. There has just been an MIT meeting in the Donovan Culture and Science Museum. What was the professor working on lately? We don't know for sure, but the head housekeeper claims that recently he was more secretive than usual about his research. He often worked till late, and his dinner got cold. I think he was conducting research about the activities of ancient civilizations. Nothing new for a scientist of his caliber. Have you questioned the scientists who were working with him? Not yet. It's not easy to contact them. They're scattered all over the world, enjoying their fame, or studying ancient sites. Did you find any important clues? Where you found Professor Eulenberg's body? The body is lying on the bed in his room. He collapsed. When he was shot, he was found by chance. He was dressed casually, nothing unusual. He was, however, holding a handkerchief tightly in his hand. The housekeeper says it was quite usual for him. It's really late. I'll go to the kitchen to listen to the housekeeper's statement. Martin. Feel free to have a look around to see if you can find something. Fine, I'll have a look around.
My cell's ringing. Hello? Professor Mystere? Yes, speaking. Good afternoon. I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. I, I'm the technician for Clean Tubes, Inc. You, you called us? I wanted to ask if there's someone home to sort out the problem in the cellar? Yes, you should find my assistant, Java. Great. We're in the area and we wanted to come round to get the job done. You'll find a troop of mice learning how to swim down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry about the joke. Oh, don't mention it. I thought so, too. Fine, great. Uh, we'll send you the bill. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.